Hey everyone, Trey Mick here from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm excited to show off some of the new features within Axiom Cyber. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new case. I'm gonna leave my default location for my folder and for my acquired evidence. I'm gonna go on over to Evidence Sources. We're gonna look at the new Office 365 capabilities that we've added today. So I'm gonna to go to Cloud, Acquire Evidence. And next I'm gonna move over to Microsoft and I'm gonna log into Microsoft. And today I'm gonna to use a username and password since I am an admin for my environment. I'm just gonna hit next. So I'm gonna sign in as myself. And today I am Dante. Now that I'm signed in, you can see we've changed up the UX now for when you log into Office 365. So starting from the top, we can select our date range. If we have a specific date in mind, whether you're trying to do before and after or a, a custom date range, you also have the ability for us to automatically pre-process for mail keywords. So for instances, maybe e-discovery or within the corporate environment, you are asked if there are contents of their inbox that include specific keywords, you can go ahead and add those keywords in and we will only acquire evidence that matches those keywords. So for today, I'm gonna to go ahead and hit add keywords, add keyword list. As you can see, I've got seven keywords in my keyword list. Right now, the maximum is 30 keywords for the acquisitions, but just keep in mind that you know we'll be refining this as we get feedback from the field. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Now, one thing that I really love that we've changed now with Axiom Cyber, specifically around Office 365 acquisition, is because I've logged in as Dante, in previous versions, we would have Dante's information automatically selected for acquisition within Axiom Cyber. That's now changed. As you can see down here, we don't have any user accounts that we've added yet for today's acquisition. So we've automatically dechecked Dante and now you have to manually add in who you would like, which is great because, you know, once again, if you're in a rush, you might end up acquiring your own admin account versus acquiring just the accounts that you needed for your casework. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit add user accounts. Today I'm gonna to be looking at Selena Kyle. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add account. And now we're gonna select the data to acquire from Selena's Officer 65 account. And as you can see, we have options here for Outlook and OneDrive. Let's start with Outlook. Now within Outlook, as you can see here, we have different pieces of information. We can grab the unified audit logs, the Outlook calendar, and the contacts, as well as, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit select all for this, but as well now you can also dig two layers down within their inbox. So for instance, we can drive in through the inbox and maybe say, hey, I wanna grab the important information from here, and maybe that's all that we're really worried about for this in investigation. Or maybe we wanna grab the inbox with the important, maybe we also wanna select the deleted and sent messages as well too. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Now we can go right into OneDrive as well, and we can grab the version history from the metadata of the files. We can also dive into Selena's OneDrive and grab the files that we need to. But for this, I'm gonna go ahead and just select everything for today's investigation and hit next. Now, one other thing that we've changed here is the select SharePoint data. And as you can see, we have zero SharePoint sites selected right now. And if we wanted to, we could add a SharePoint data to acquire. This is essentially gonna allow me to add whatever SharePoint access Dante has. And since Dante is an admin within this environment, he should have access to the various SharePoint sites that this Office 365 would have. So we could narrow down that search if we want to. And for today, I'm not too worried about SharePoint, but just keep that in mind, we've changed that up for the acquisition of SharePoint data now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit back. So what do we have? We've set up, so we want all date ranges. We've set keywords, so we have seven keywords added. So for Outlook, we did select the various folders that we wanna look, and essentially we're gonna have those keywords then see if we can find those matches within Outlook. So from here, I'm just gonna go on down and hit next. So we have Selena Kyle, and I'm gonna just change the evidence information here to Office 365, Selena Kyle, and hit save. Go to processing details. I'm gonna hop on down to analyze evidence, and we'll pick it back up after we've acquired Selena's account. 
Now that we've acquired Selena's Office 365 account, we're in Axiom Cyber Examine, and I'm gonna go from the case dashboard on over to our new email explorer. And here on the left-hand side, you can see the boxes that we acquired. And as you can see, we have the important, we have the inbox and deleted that we selected earlier. And the only items that are gonna be found within each one of these folders will be things that matched our keywords. So when I select important, you can see here we have contracts for review. This next one, we also have the word contract in there. That's all part of the keywords list that I input into Axiom Cyber process so that we only acquire data that matched those keywords. Next, I'm gonna go from Email Explorer on over to the Artifact Explorer. And here you can see we have OneDrive with hits on information such as Employee CC. Once again, this was information that I had in my initial keywords list and why it was captured as a part of this acquisition. When we go over to the email attachments, we can also see once again, we have contracts, we have a keyword of Harper, that was also as a part of the keywords list that we added in earlier as well. And then we have the unified auto logs that we grabbed from Selena Kyle's account as well too. So just things to keep in mind with the new Office 365 acquisition, if you log in as the admin, you will not be acquiring that admin account anymore. You will have to add in the user account that you want to acquire. So we've made that easier. So no longer are we auto selecting that admin account. We've updated the Microsoft branding. We've really updated that admin flow for Axiom Cyber as well. And then within the Outlook pre-processing folder selection, we can drill down into the various folders. We can also add in keywords list to search and only acquire emails with those specific keywords. Just keep in mind, no individual keywords as of yet. You need to add those in as a text file and one list with uh, 30 words for this first initial release of this update within Axiom Cyber. With that, have a great day. We'll see you next time.